And here's the second thing. It's respect. It's such a key thing. And let me just say this. Respect is not a feeling. Okay? See, you can respect somebody regardless of how you feel about them. Because here's what respect comes down to. It, no matter how I feel about a person, I can always remember and I can always focus on the fact that this is a person made in the image of God who has unlimited, infinite worth and value, and I need to treat them that way. And see, I can treat someone as a, as a fellow human being who has worth and value, whether I feel good or bad about them. I can treat them with respect. So just remember, respect has nothing to do with how you feel. But let's define it. What does respect mean? What does it look like practically? And I'm going to give you a list of exactly what respect looks like. And this is something you can take and you can, man, you could put this like on a list and put it on your refrigerator. And this could be like the rules or how you deal with each other in your home. Or you can put this up in your workplace. And this is how we deal with each other uh, on the job. This will change your relationships. Here it is. Here's what respect looks like. Respect means that I give myself and I give others the right to some things. Here's the first one. I give you the right to space and privacy. In other words, I knock before I come into your room or your workspace. I don't use your stuff without asking. I give you your space. I respect your space and your privacy. Number two, you have the right to be different. In other words, you don't have to like what I like. You don't have to think the way I think. You don't have to spend time the way I do. Number three, you have the right to disagree, and I have the right to disagree with you. In other words, we make room for each other's opinions because they're not always the same. Number four, You have the right to be heard. That means we just respect one another by listening to each other. We hear each other out. We just talked about that. Number five, you have the right to be taken seriously. When you talk, I listen. I'm present. I don't look down on you because you're younger and you don't understand. And you don't look down on me because I'm old and I don't get it. We we completely take each other seriously when we have a conversation. Number six. You have the right to be given the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to talk about this in detail in a second, but it means I don't make assumptions. I don't judge you before I get all the information. I believe the best about you until I can't and vice versa. Number seven, you have the right to be told the truth. See, when you ask me a question, you have the right to expect that I'm going to start with the truth. And the same thing, when I ask you, you you tell me the truth. We, We respect each other that way. Number eight, you have the right to be consulted. When a decision gets made between two people, you have the right to, to be in on that decision. And when, it, and when it comes to parents and kids, you, you let them be on the decision as much as they're capable of at their, whatever age of ma- or level of maturity that they have. But we respect each other and we consult each other when a decision gets made that affects both of us. Number nine, be imperfect and make mistakes. You have the right to make mistakes. See, Because everybody in a relationship is going to mess up. Everybody's going to spill some things. They're going to they're going to forget some things. We're going to break things in this house. That's just going to happen. And so we give each other the space. And I need the room to make a mistake just as much as you do. And then finally, number ten, you have the right to courteous, courteous and honorable treatment. In other words, I should be able to expect that when you speak to me, you're not going to use your words to hurt me, and you should expect that I won't hurt you, that there won't be abuse between us, that there won't be uh, someone using someone else for my own purposes, that you'll be treated honorably. And those ten things, that's what respect practically looks like in a relationship. 